The OD off button is a symbol that you'll find on your dashboard, and it stands for overdrive off. OD off mode is used during the winter months to help prevent snow buildup in the engine. If you drive often in snowy conditions, this may not be an issue for you, but if OD off has been turned on and you are driving during warmer months, there are some steps that can be taken to turn it off before any serious damage occurs. What does a car overdrive do? Car overdrive is designed to increase the number of gear ratios in your vehicle's transmission. The purpose of overdrive is to allow the vehicle to run at reduced RPMs while cruising on the highway. This decreases strain on both the engine and the drivetrain while increasing fuel economy. An overdrive operates by locking out one of the gears in the transmission, causing it to act as an overdrive gear. What's so great about having overdrive? The main advantage of having overdrive is that it increases your vehicle's fuel economy by allowing for reduced engine RPMs at higher speeds. This means less throttle input is required from the engine, resulting in less fuel being consumed. How does overdrive work? Overdrive works by locking out one of the gears in your vehicle's transmission, causing it to act as an overdrive gear. There are two main types of overdrives, torque converter and lockup. A lockup operates by using a clutch pack to lock the gear, while a torque converter uses fluid coupling to achieve the same results. What types of overdrive are there? There are two main types of overdrive available, torque converter and lockup. A torque converter operates by using a clutch pack inside the unit to lock out one of the gears in the transmission, while a lockup operates by using a clutch pack to engage the gear. Which one is better? There are advantages and disadvantages to each type of overdrive unit, but ultimately it comes down to personal preference. Lockup overdrives are more common in trucks because they are generally more durable than their torque converter counterparts. However, a torque converter overdrive is less expensive and may last longer if the clutch pack fails. When should you use OD off while driving? A lot of drivers enjoy using OD gear when they're going uphill or when there's a slight hint of a slowdown in the speed. However, this is not safe for your car and it will cause about 20% more fuel inefficiency in normal conditions. Furthermore, you can damage your transmission by fully pressing the pedal in these times. Therefore, always remember to stay in the optimal speed range of around 32 kilometers per hour to 50 miles per hour. Before deciding whether you should use your OD gear or not, just ask yourself this simple question. Am I going uphill or going downhill? Should you drive an automatic car in overdrive all the time? This question comes up frequently, usually from someone who has just bought a new or used automatic car with overdrive. To set the record straight once and for all, the answer is no. The reason for this unequivocal answer is that most modern engines are designed to get excellent gas mileage when they are operating at part throttle. Such high mileage cannot be achieved if you are driving at full throttle, wide open engine, more than about 15% of the time during normal driving on highways or freeways. If you were able to keep your foot on the gas pedal while traveling on roads where speeds fluctuate between 35 miles per hour and 75 miles per hour continuously, then it might be possible to drive around in overdrive all the time. But this kind of driving is not very common. It would also put a heavy strain on your engine and transmission. You should shift into overdrive whenever you encounter a hill or a sharp downhill that requires an engine speed above about 2,000 revolutions per minute RPM. And you should shift out of overdrive whenever your engine speed drops below 1,200 revolutions per minute, no matter what the road conditions are like. This will keep the engine at its most efficient operating point as often as possible, resulting in much better gas mileage for any given car than if you were to try to drive around in overdrive all the time. Here are some other frequently asked questions about overdrive. Should I use overdrive while towing a trailer? Although it's highly recommended that you always have your OD on when towing a trailer, there are situations when you should turn it off. If you notice the RPM constantly shifting between 2000 to 2400, this means that your engine is under high load, which can cause damage to the internal parts of the transmission. Therefore, make sure to turn your OD gear off in these cases. Should I use OD off when slowly cruising? You may notice that your RPM starts to drop after you've reached 60 miles per hour on the highway. This means that it's time to switch gears by using the OD gear. At speeds of 50 miles per hour and below, even though you're driving in the optimal speed range of 32 kilometers per hour to 50 miles per hour, Turning on the OD will not help whatsoever. 
The reason behind this is that you're driving either too fast or too slow, and the gears cannot mesh correctly, resulting in very high RPMs. Therefore, if you want to conserve fuel and keep your transmission efficient, it's best to switch down a gear before entering the highway and keep the OD off until after 60 miles per hour. Can you save gas with overdrive? Having your overdrive off can save gas if you drive in a fuel-efficient way. If you rev the engine too much when you are not accelerating, it will waste more gas than having your overdrive on. If you drive at appropriate speeds and don't rev the engine too much without acceleration, then having your overdrive on saves gas. Now that you understand what overdrive is and when to use it, make sure to practice safe driving habits so you can avoid damaging your car's transmission. With a little bit of knowledge, you will be able to enjoy the best benefits of using your gears efficiently. The more that you get abreast with understanding when, when not to use your overdrive gear, the better off your transmission and engine components will be. I hope this video helped. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and follow so you don't miss any of my videos.